All right, so a lot of people having trouble with making the passenger section sketch. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, the passenger section windshield. All right, so if we start, we're going to start with the sketch. doesn't matter where it really is. All right, and then we're going to go, and I like to lay in the first uh, long line first. All right, so do that. And then we're going to see how big it is. So that needs to be three inches and 40 thousandths. So we'll add the dimension in three inches, 40 thousandths, make it fit. And then the next thing we need to set up is, so you have two ways you can go. You can either go this one next or this large arc. They're both arcs which are coming next. I like to set this one up first because it's a little bit easier since it's kind of probably the first time you've used arc. All right, so we go back here. The way the arc works, click on the arc. You're going to click where it starts. You're going to click where it ends. And then you're going to click the, um, basically the middle that sets how much radius it has. All right, so you can go in. You can then dimension it, and that is six. All right, and it's going to go. It's going to go weird on you. That's cool. What we're going to do is now we're going to define this endpoint. So we're going to go two point five five over and one inch up. All right, so we're going to lock that endpoint in place. All right, so one inch up, and what I say, two point five five over, and then that pulls it back and pulls it back in place. All right, and then we can go ahead and do the other arc. Now, when you do these arcs, if you want to take a little shortcut, do the start, do the end. And then when you go to the middle, it will actually let you just type six. And then that will go ahead and set your radius. So if we look at this, we have an arc here that we have to lay in. Or we could do, let's go ahead and, and, and secure the endpoints of this. So we need to go up 0.64 and over three inches, ten thousandths. So if we go here, we'll go over three inches, ten thousandths, not a hundred thousandths, ten thousandths. And we're going to go up 0.64. So now we have that fully defined. Okay, so everything, we have an arc, we have two endpoints defined, we have an arc, we have the two endpoints defined. So now all we need to to go and put in our next arc, all right, which is this arc here. And it is a radius of 0.4. And we don't need to define the endpoints because we always have the endpoints defined. So we go here to here, and then just roughly set the middle, or you can say 0.4, and it will set it in place, all right? Now, the instructions, when you go to the instructions, they basically say, say now what you're gonna do um, and because this is in order to get the tangent to work. Now that you have all that in there, you're going to delete these two and then apply a tangent to this point and to and this point. So here you're going to add your tangents. All right, so we're going to go in, we're going to delete this one. Delete, delete, tangent, arc to arc, arc to arc. All right, and then it's it's done. So you finish the sketch. All right, and the way you know that you did it right is it will fill it. So we'll come over here, we'll extrude it. All right, 2.55. And then we're going to use the fillet command, which is right here. All right, so basically what you want to do with the fillet command, it will allow you to do edges, and it'll, it'll make, it, make it all nice and rounded over. So we'll say 0.5. We'll click our edge, and you'll see it updates and shows what this looks like. Let's go ahead and minimize that. So it's going to show it's it's actually filling all the way around. If it stops, if it only gets to say here and stops and errors out on you, it's because you don't have a tangent in that spot. If it gets to here and stops, you don't have a tangent on the, the top part of the arc. And then you can go ahead and click the other one. So you'll notice that it gives me a nice preview for both. That means it's going to work because I built it correctly. If the radius doesn't work, you did not build your sketch correctly. Uh, hit the checkbox. And that part of the pasture section is complete.